Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020, Thursday of the second week of Easter. Living for Christ in the face of opposition and temptation. In our reading from Acts chapter 5, the Sanhedrin is presented as a great obstacle to the propagation of the gospel. The apostles were arrested and arrayed before the court. The court officers said to them, We gave you strict orders to stop teaching in that name, did we not? This statement came as a threat to stop the apostles from living for Christ and preaching in his name. The Sanhedrin wanted to shut them down completely so that the powerful message of the resurrection would die. But God was not ready to let that happen. Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit and he kept pushing back at the opposition, basing his whole argument on the fact that the God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead. Therefore, we will live for him and preach his gospel. Peter's focus was on the power of the resurrection. To truly live for Christ, we have to keep our eyes on the resurrection, on the fact that through Christ's resurrection, life has been transformed. Humanity has been given a new opportunity to be in contact and in communion with the divine. This should fuel our desire to overcome even our own minor temptations. For example, when the desire to hold grudges tells us, Have I not warned you not to be a wimp when someone offends you and you forgive them? You better hold grudges against them and show them that you are angry with them. Or, when impatience confronts us saying, do you think that John Doe gets it? He doesn't get it. So you should yell at him, make him feel miserable, get frustrated with him until he gets it. He will never learn. So show him how frustrated you are and he will learn. Well, you and I know how that usually turns out. I think our response, because we want to live for Christ, should be one that draws strength from the fact that Christ rose from the dead and has transformed our lives to move from darkness into light. Hence, we respond with greater love and forgiveness for the one who offended us, and we push back against the temptation to do otherwise. By doing this, we will have a share in the eternal life offered to us by Christ here on earth and into the next life. May God help us. Amen? Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you all.